We're following up on a paycheck problem that's now affected Fred Meyer stores for two months. Back in November, employees filed a class action lawsuit claiming some didn't even get their paychecks. Jenny Young speaking with a former Fred Meyer employee. And Jenny said so this employee says it happened to him and he's still trying to get some of that money he's owed. Well, back in November, we interviewed a 17 year old employee who said this happened to her. And then today I interviewed a guy who said it's happened to him twice. He quit his job at Fred Meyer two weeks ago because he says he's tired of chasing down his paycheck. When Mike Pappas checked his bank account the day before Thanksgiving and saw two weeks worth of wages hadn't been deposited, he thought it was an issue with his bank, not his employer, Fred Meyer. I thought, well, okay, that, you know, that could happen, fine. Thursday comes, no pay. Pappas tells us the company failed to deposit his paycheck once in November and then again once in December. He didn't know it at the time, but the company says there was a problem with their newly implemented payroll processing system. If it's a program, if it's a computer program, number one, why wasn't it tested? Why wasn't it vetted? In November, a class action lawsuit was filed in U.S. federal court in Portland, seeking at least $5 million on behalf of Fred Meyer workers who haven't been paid. This is inexcusable. You're, you're, you're hurting families. You're taking money for people to pay, you know, feed their kids, feed their relatives. Pappas, who recently quit his job at the Hillsborough Fred Meyer, says he did eventually get some of the money he was owed, but claims the company wouldn't provide him with paperwork he asked for in order to verify he received the correct amount of pay. We have a term at Fred Meyer, make it right. So in other words, if you have something, a, a carton of eggs that's 350 and you see something there that says the carton of eggs is 250, you can hit a button and make it right. So you mean to tell me you're a billion dollar corporation and you can't make it right? Reached out to the company and they say this only happened a few uh, to a few employees. I mean, not a few, but a small percentage. And I asked how many if they could give us a hard number. I did not hear back. I also asked, did you do anything for employees in the meantime to make sure they were you know, able to pay bills? I did not hear back uh, on that question either. I reached out to the uh, Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industry asking if they're investigating this, if there's any penalties uh, for Fred Meyer in this, and I did not hear back from them. But I did hear back from the Grocery Workers Union within the last 15 minutes. We have posted their statement. They're calling this appalling. We posted that full statement on coin.com. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin Six News. Yeah, and Jenny, what's extra tough is this happened just before the holiday season, and so it's already tough for them then and still tough for them now. It doesn't seem like it's fully resolved just yet. I know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you.